Hi guys, beautiful Tuesday to you, beautiful souls. How are you doing? So today I want to do in my, in my mini healing is talk about things that we have done in our past life that, must, that might be affecting us in this life. So a lot of times we make vows, contracts, commitments, um, obligations, and things like that in past lives, and they carry on into this life. So let's say, for example, uh, a lot of those that we have are actually from a past life when we were Catholic. So if sometimes you feel triggered by religion, it could be because you still have a vow in place. So I grew up very Catholic, so <laughs> I don't want you guys to think that I'm judging anything bad, but I wanted to kind of be a nun, and I did some research on what, you know, what this would be like and things like that. I spoke to nuns and everything, so I know what I'm talking about when I say this. Um, when you become a nun, you take up three vows, poverty, chastity, and obedience, and after 10 years, you do what is a perpetual vow. So in a perpetual vow, the way that it's actually worded, you say from the soul. You're making like a soul contract for, for yourself against these things, poverty, chastity, and obedience. Now, some monks follow the take a vow of silence as well. So the best thing to do is to muscle test to see if you have these. And what I'm going to do in this mini healing is I'm going to take away the vow of obedience and silence in case you have them, okay? Um, if you want to remove the poverty or the chastity one, then that is part of my session work that I do where I remove a bunch of contracts and stuff like that from past lives. And you can muscle test right now and ask yourself, do I have a vow from a past life that is affecting me in this life? And then if you get a yes, then you can dig for it and you can say, is this a vow? And then if you get a yes, you can say, is this the vow of poverty? And if you get a yes, then you have to book a session with me. <laughs> Okay, and then you can do, is this a vow of chastity? If you get a yes, also you have to book a session. But if you get a yes for obedience and silence, then I'm going to go ahead and remove that now. Okay, if you guys do not know how to muscle test, check out my website, azanymoment.com slash videos. On there, I have a video on how to muscle test, or you can even use a pendulum to find out. And you can muscle test this and a lot of other questions. You can um, muscle test if you have a vow of um, suffering, if you took on anything like that. There are, some, there are some religions out there that you do take on suffering. And the way, depending on how it was worded and your intent, if at the time in your past life you said you wanted this to be on your soul, you could have placed it on your soul. So the best way to, to find out is to muscle test because who knows the intent of what we had in a past life, right? So just muscle test or ask your higher self for some guidance. And if you're watching this video, then you probably need a clearing. So let's go ahead and relax, close your eyes. I am going to take away the vow of obedience and silence. So you can speak up for yourself. There's a lot of things going on in the throat chakra right now recently, so I wanted to do something for that. Okay, so closing your eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and set the intention. Anyone watching this video across time and space, receive the healing. Perfect comfort and alignment, exactly what they need at this moment in time. So whoever's watching this video, the vow of obedience and the vow of silence, be pulled, canceled, and resolved on the history level and released on other levels to time and space and all dimensions of the field. 
across all timelines, frequencies they exist in, including in between lives, past lives, future lives. That this vow be deemed completed. The situation has been learned from and it is no longer needed. They're ready to move forward without this energy holding them back. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just witnessing this vow being completed and being stored in your Akashic Records. Okay, guys. So, I hope you enjoy. Drink plenty of water today. And it, you could muscle test again afterwards. After this is done, so muscle test, I have the vow, the vow of obedience or the vow of silence. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful Tuesday, and I'll see you guys soon. Namaste.